welcome to this series of bite-sized training videos from Wellington. In this video, we'll be focusing on navigation of the PMO portal. Members of the project management community within an organisation can use the PMO portal to discover and share best practice. From the project web app homepage, a user can navigate to the PMO portal using the link in the quick launch pane on the left hand side. The homepage is typically used by the PMO to provide site visitors with the latest news and updates from within the project management community. Exploring the page, we have the news experience at the top, which provides a quick and easy way to share important or interesting content with your team. By clicking on the post, users can then read more and interact with the item, with the option to like the post and also leave comments. Click on the link in the quick launch pane to return to the PMO portal homepage. On the right hand side, users will find contact details for the PMO under the meet the team banner. And by hovering over one of the team members, I can see their profile, which also includes contact information. Scrolling down, we can see the PMO portal is used to show upcoming events, as well as recently viewed documents. We also have a quick link section providing easy access to other sites of interest, as well as a topical Twitter feed and embedded media content. Scrolling back up, from the quick launch pane are a series of headings. Quick links is useful for displaying links to other connected sites, such as your instance of project online or your associated Power BI reports. You can see here, we also have links to the project home and roadmaps feature an instance of Azure DevOps, as well as a team site to further collaboration between the project management community. And moving down the list, if I expand documentation, we can see there are also a number of different document libraries to choose from. If I click on training material, this opens the library and I can then view the content by clicking on the document name and it will open the document in the browser. To return, I simply click on the close icon in the top right hand corner. And as from anywhere in the site, to return to the PMO portal homepage, I need to click on the PMO home link in the quick launch pane. Under Guidance would be an ideal place to provide access to information about your organisation's project management methodology or governance framework, or standards for reporting or information about the project management toolset. These are all just examples of options that could be customised to suit your organisation. Under the Management heading, we can see that the PMO portal is also home to lessons learned and benefits tracking. We encourage that these sit as centralised logs outside of the individual project sites. For benefits, it doesn't always make sense for a tracker to sit in the project site, as benefits projected as a result of a project can often only be assessed as having been delivered sometime after that project has completed and handed over into operations, by which time the project will be closed in the system. Therefore, to ensure these projections are not lost when closing projects, this log enables benefits to be tracked until they are realised. For lessons learned, this enables users within the Project Online community to benefit from a much richer pool of information, as the lessons from all projects are stored in one place which everyone can then access. It also means that future projects can then review a consolidated list of lessons learned to build on the experience from completed projects. The current view displays all lessons that have been captured against all projects to date. Other views are available. So if I go to the drop down on the toolbar, I can see a list of the other views to choose from. We also have the lessons by category view. So if I go ahead and select this, we can then see that the data is grouped under the category heading. Other useful views might be by project or by lesson impact. Remember, additional views can always be configured by your system administrators. To add a new lesson, Navigate to the ribbon and click on New. 
Once it loads, you then need to complete the form. Note that any fields marked with an asterisk are mandatory. By expanding the project name dropdown, we can see that the field is displaying a pre-populated list of all the projects within Project Online for users to select from. As well as improving the end user experience, this ensures uniformity in project naming conventions. And once a project is selected, we can see that the project ID field is also automatically populated. The user must then go on to provide a title, state where the lesson originated from, select from a number of drop down lists, and then complete the lesson as well as providing a recommendation. Once you've completed the form, you then need to click save and that lesson will then be added to the list for others to see. Users may also want to update lessons. So to edit an existing lesson, you first need to select the item and then click on edit on the toolbar. This will reopen the lesson form where you can go in and make any updates. Again, once done, remember to click save. And to return to the home page, I'm going to click on the link in the quick launch pane. So that concludes this overview of the PMO portal and to highlight how the portal could be used in your organization. Look out for these other videos for more Project Online related content.